Hey YouTube, my name is Heather and I love anti-MLM YouTube content. Today I'm really excited for us to listen to about a minute and a half of a Beachbody team training where a very high up upline is going to tell us about our dirt list. When I first heard about dirt lists in the Beachbody context, I honestly thought it was about the people you have dirt on or people you know gossip about. That is not who, that is not what this is. So we're gonna get started and I would love to hear what you think below. Okay guys, so I wanna to talk to you a little bit about your dirt list. This is a list. Um, the dirt list is basically the people that would buy dirt off you, right? This is your best friends, this is your cousins, uh, your mom, your sisters, your sister-in-laws. Um, these are the people that you're gonna contact right away. Everybody. So imagine you just joined Beachbody and you're sitting down in an Emerald training and you hear someone telling you to make a dirt list, something called a dirt list, and telling you to put your mom on your dirt list. I feel like that would be a huge red flag and I would run for the hills. It's been 22 seconds so far and I wouldn't even last this long. It has a dirt list and you should be contacting them and talking to them about what you just started and why you would love for them to join you. Um, we've talked a little bit about your first goal, which is hitting Emerald, and this dirt list is going to get you to Emerald. And remember why they want you to hit Emerald so bad? They want you to hit Emerald so you unlock the compensation plan and they can start to make money off of everything you do in your volume. And also once you get to Emerald, they're going to pressure you and push you to get to Diamond so she can advance in her Star Diamond rank and make even more money and potentially advance her rank where she gets a Star Diamond bonus. So there's always a deeper motivation when Beachbody coaches are telling you how to advance and rank. It's not for your own financial well-being and for the status of your own business. It's so they can rank up and make more money. If your mom could use some help with her nutrition, with her fitness, tell her to get on board. Tell her to order Shakeology Monthly and she would make a great discount coach. No, don't tell your mom to get on board and order Shakeology Monthly. Say, hey mom, would you like to do this? And if you want, you can order this, this Shakeology shake once a month if you like it. But they can't say that because they need to be emerald. You need your two coaches to stay active, which is 50 personal volume points, and they need to keep ordering. So there's no option for your mom to say, sure, honey, I'll try it out. She tries Shakeology, it doesn't like it, and then she decides she doesn't want to buy any more products. That's going to make you drop an emerald. It's going to make the, your upline drop their diamond rank, and it's going to make someone like her drop her star diamond rank. And she will help you get to Emerald. If your sister um, could... See, it's not about helping your mom on her health and fitness journey. It's about helping you get to your rank so everyone above you can advance in rank as well. Use an extra 500 bucks a month. Ask her if she wants to do this with you. And this isn't just for coaches. This is Don't ask your sister to join a downline because she's not going to make $500 a month. It's impossible. Not it's impossible, sorry. She's, it's, she's not going to make $500 a month unless she recruits people. And she's not going to make a decent living wage unless she yeah, recruits hundreds and hundreds of people. And it's impossible for her to find true success. Sorry about that. I stumbled over my words a few times. This is for customers too. You want to sit down and create a list of every super close person in your life. <clears throat> I'm literally pausing every two seconds. Sorry about that. What about the people who are very, very isolated, which is why they're joining the MLM in the first place? A lot of people don't have contact with their family. Maybe they don't have any friends. Maybe they just went through a traumatic event and they're pushing their friends and family away. So they literally don't have anyone to put on this dirt list. Remember, this is different than what we learned from Eric Worre several weeks ago. I know a few of you have watched that video where he told us to write down every single person we've ever known and continually add to the list. He said at least two people per day. This is people who 
love you, care about you, and respect you that you put on this list. And not everyone has multiple people in their life that would buy dirt from them. Lots of people have nobody. And that's also something to think about. Also, I don't like the idea of monetizing your close friendships and relationships. Why would you make a list of people who would buy dirt from you? Is there more to their relationship with you than monetary value and financial gain? Whether you think they would do this or not, they're still on your dirt list because they're your best friends, your family members, and the people that you love most. So let's take 10 minutes and sit down and write your dirt list. And then after that, you're going to message your dirt list, tell them what you're doing, and ask them to join. So what do you think about that? I know there's only a minute and a half long she just said, it doesn't matter whether you think that they would want to join you. Just write them down and ask them to, to join you either coaching or through the programs. That shows that beach body coaches don't really care who they're asking. They just want to fill out their team because we've heard before that you have to constantly be recruiting in order to keep your rank because it's a revolving door of coaches, huge turnover. People are going to realize that they're not going to make any money and then they quit then you drop rank and all your uplines drop rank as well. So that's all I have today. Um, as I'm wrapping up, I'd like to know who would be on your beach body dirt list. Let me know what you think below and I'll see you next time. Bye.